been told You gotta work to feed the soul But I can't do this all on my own No, I know I'm no Superman Scrub Season 2 review. So now that the characters are residents, they have to face new challenges. The character of JD develops more. You know, I like how he's the good guy. We see his, you know, his good side when he gets Leslie Nielsen fired. Or when he starts dating the woman whose husband is in a coma and he has really big moral issues with it. It was enjoyable seeing him, you know, accept who he is. You know, in the episode where he realizes he is a dork. And I like the episode where his brother visits because it shows sometimes he's... Gotta put his foot down and be like, this is how it is. Turk needs to be more fleshed out. We do see him, you know, maturing more in his relationship with Carla. We see Elliot, like, pretty much lose everything. Um, The only problem is her character is still a little bit annoying, like the way she begs for attention from Dr. Cox. Carla, she gets a little more developed, too. Like, there's the episode where she figures out, you know, she's not really attractive anymore because she's engaged. Or in the episode where she takes an extra shift to cover... For J.D., Turk, and Elliot. Dr. Cox is still the most fleshed out character. You know, he grows more because he's technically a father now. And as a mentor, we see him actually liking somebody and caring about another human being. So then there's both Dr. Kelso and the janitor. Her, their characters, they're just bland. Um, All they are is foils to J.D. You know, J.D. realizes, I don't want to be like Dr. Kelso, you know, as I am an old doctor. And the janitor is just kind of a bad person. <laughs> but funny... This is still a funny show. I like how the, each episode teaches moral lessons. I'd say the best episode is My Big Brother. So I'd say it's worth watching at the premiere. So yeah, be sure to subscribe. Bye.